table. There's nothing on it. Now you might be wondering, this is going to be a boring video. But that's not the point because we've got birthday decorations everywhere. Because it is my birthday and I've got my present to show you guys. And that is the Deep Dark Lego set. Wow, it's so cool because it just released yesterday. Now, yesterday was my birthday, but everything was closed. So I bought this, so my parents bought this present for me today. And this set is really cool. You can see, look, this is a cool warden. And look, netherite armor player. And a player with an enchanted crossbow. I've heard that that's new. My parents were kind enough to buy me this huge set. And I really liked it. I was completely surprised when I went to Legoland and I found this cool set. I also saw the Sword Outpost, which was out there as well, but I didn't buy it. I said, nah, this one is more cooler because it comes with a warden. And yeah, this is very cool. It even comes with a chest and a potion and a bone, if you can see. I don't think you can see because the bone is very little. And at the back of the box, you can see what you can do with it. You can hide the warden behind the set somehow. And then you'll have to spin this little mechanic, this me um, mechanic thing, and then... You spin it and spin it and spin it, and then you turn the, you turn it the opposite way, and then he pops out the warden, and then you can just play with him. Now here's a cool thing, and it's the castle. You can see that one of the castle's pillars is blowing out because the pillar has a TNT next to it, and that's a cool Lego feature. They always in included with most of the sets and that's a really cool thing because lego doesn't want you to be bored and just play it like with your figures and instead of having some kind of cool tnt feature well this set is really cool if you're a candle fan this might be just a perfect set for you because it has lots of candles it has one two three four five six seven eight and maybe you can't see the eighth one because it's behind this this pillar thing and nine we have nine candles over there and now you can see lego hasn't made a clean just a normal base plate of the set they've also included some spark onto it because you see Wardens are found in the deep dark and the material that is used is mainly reinforced deep slate which you can find in that monster thing if you play Minecraft and normal deep slate which is I think Lego is trying to make over here and most importantly Skulk and this is Skulk and you know Skulk shines so they put these shining things on there. Now this is, you might be wondering what is this because it's really weird. And that is a Skulk Shrieker. Now I'm not really sure but it's so accurate. And here we've got the Skulk Shrieker. Um, that was a Skulk Sensor, sorry. And that was the Skulk Shrieker. Now, I've got something to tell you about the warden. The warden will only rise if a player jumps and makes too much noise. It will go affect the skulk sensor, then the skulk shrieker, and then a loud scream will play in the game, but not here. A loud scream will play, and then the warden will pop out behind the um, this thing. And... And in the game, the water will come out the out of the skulk or any material. And I personally think this set is one of the best sets I've ever experienced. It's like this player has an enchanted crossbow. Now, I don't have an enchanted crossbow. And I'm pretty sure Lego included that hoe because, you know, hoes are very um, common in deep dark cities if you played Minecraft. And here's a potion of regeneration, I think. 
or Harmon. Well, I'm pretty sure it's regeneration. I really like this um, player, and his name is over here. You can see his name is Netherite Knight. Now, this is my favorite character. I've never had a full set of netherite armor. Well, if you want a full set of netherite armor, here it is. And it's on a player. We've also got the Ar Arellist Knight, which has a hoodie and looks a little bit like Link from Zelda. And, um, yeah, I really like this set for the overalls. I like how you pose the warden like straight because it looks really cool and it looks like he's actually um he's actually like a Minecraft character. Now I really wish the head would have gone lower and that rod was not there and it was like there but Lego wouldn't do that because Lego wanted to make like sort of a very articulated figure. And the price for this set is $100 Australian. Now you can calculate the US dollars for it. Well, th this set is really cool. I really like this set. It's even got soul torches and it's got soul fire. Here's a good look at the soul fire behind it. And this set is really, really, really cool. I'm really impressed with this set because it also has a very tiny bit of detail, a skull. That skull is really cool, but I wish there was a body of the skull because it would have been cooler. And the Lego put the body into the chest. And yeah, that would have been cool. And um, there's also like this um, behind piece which is some sort of tunnel. Now this gives a reference to the Minecraft review of 1.17 beta. And you could play the wild update on it, which was 1.17 was the caves and cliffs. They had to make the warden, but they had trouble um, fixing it, I think. Well, I'm not entirely sure, but they didn't add the warden in 1.17. But that's another story. Now, I want to open this because that's the main part. Okay, let's open this cool thing. Open it. Whoa. Let's see the packets. We've got the base plate. And we've got packet four, a weird way to start with. Anyways, I'll count it. We've got another packet. Another packet. And another packet. And another packet. Now this explains why this was so heavy. And here's the instruction booklet. Now of total, there are five packets. Now let's see what's inside. Okay, so this is packet two. Packet one. Now I'm pretty sure this comes with the Skulker Shrieker. Because you can see this is a this is one of the souls. And if you see in the packing, you'll, you'll see this little design on the Skulk Shrieker. And yeah. That's the design. So I'm pretty sure you, you are supposed to build the Skulk Shrieker. And there'll be like a guy, an explorer. And here's his body. Let's go for packet two now. I'm pretty sure packet two is um, one of the structures because it looks so much like it because there's nothing really inside only except a few blocks. There is something inside. I mean, like, there's no characters inside. So I'm predicting that it might be one of the structure pieces. Now here, I'm pretty sure is something that got to do with the warden because you can see a lot of aqua pieces inside and i think i found one of the mouse but i'll explain it 
when I make another video afterwards. Here's packet four, and it comes with that um, Aralist knight, which looks like um, Link from Zelda, and the enchanted crossbow. And for packet um, five, we've got more of the structure. And here's the cool ins instructions booklet. This is really heavy when you hold it. Okay, thanks for watching this video. And I will promise I'll make another video. And a promise is a promise, you know that. And uh, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon button. I'll meet you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.